Everybody knows what proverbs are. They're short, clever phrases that often give life advice. They also show what's really important to our culture. They can also show what's considered good or bad behavior. So to get a deeper understanding of English, today we're going to discuss five proverbs. We're going to discuss their meaning and also how to use them. Number one on our list is don't judge a book by its cover. This proverb means that you shouldn't judge someone or something by their appearance. If you think about it, it's really easy. The value of a book is on the pages, not what's written on the cover. The same thing applies to people. You should never judge a person by what they look like before you get to know them. Number two, money doesn't grow on trees. How many times have I heard this proverb? I don't really think I need to explain this one. Number three, every cloud has a silver lining. In this proverb, clouds stand for bad situations. Every bad situation has some good parts to it. Sometimes you just have to look a little bit harder. To say every cloud has a silver lining is meant to help people and make them feel better in a bad situation. Number four, don't make a mountain out of a molehill. This proverb reminds you about what's important. Spilling your coffee or being a bit late for work isn't really that important in the whole scheme of life. So it's important to stay calm and not get angry about all the small problems. So a mole hill is the hill that's made by the mole. So the last proverb on our list is, the early bird catches the worm. This is referring to somebody who takes action sooner rather than later. If you take action sooner, you're likely to get a better result. This also applies to waking up early in the morning. Somebody who wakes up early gets more done, right? And there you go, five English proverbs. Now there's two things that I'd like you to do. Number one, if you know any other English proverbs, then write them in the comments below. Number two, Try to translate from your native language into English any proverbs that you really like. Have fun. Great, you got to the end. One last thing before I go. If you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up. We've only just started making these kind of videos, so we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.